All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be replacing the serpentine button on my car because it's going bad, and we're going to check it. And I'm going to show you how to check it to see if yours is bad or not. But real quick, uh, I want to go over a couple things. First of all, I just created a brand new channel, a second channel called Arrow Man Gaming. Uh, there, there, there will be a link down in the description for you to go check it out if you want to see it. So yeah, guys, be sure to go check me out there. Anyways, guys, so uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, why I'm replacing the serpentine belt and how to take it off and how to put the new one on so let's go ahead and get started alright guys so right whenever you open up the hood I'm having to prop mine up because I need new hood shocks um, you're gonna see this belt right here okay now if you're on an older car they will not have, they may not have a serpentine belt they may have a set of belts and so that's a different story but this is for cars with a serpentine belt so you're gonna have all these pulleys that it goes through and intertwines with and stuff like that and then down here, you can, you can see that, this is your tensioner pulley, okay? This is how you're going to release it, alright? Basically what you do is you take a ratchet and there's a square hole right there. So that square, kind of, basically you can fit a ratchet in there and you can sit and push the tensioner back and that's how you release the belt and take it off. Pull off that now, but whenever you're putting your serpentine belt back in, you just want to try to put it back on the way it came off. Alright, hello everyone. Uh, this is the end of the video, but real quick, I want to show you guys this belt may look good to the naked eye. But it wasn't good because it was causing my AC to squeak whenever I turned it up high. It would sit there and squeal, like, Hee! it would sit there and squeal. And there was a lot of other things squealing under here. And whenever I replaced this belt, it fixed that issue. Now, like I said, this belt may look good to you, but there's obviously something wrong with it, or else it wouldn't have been causing the problems that it caused because it did fix it. So, just because something doesn't look bad, doesn't mean it's not bad. It's always good to double check. Okay. Alright guys, so uh, with that being said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to go check out my second channel. We're going to be streaming, actually, tonight. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.